Close Test 250. And this video is an introduction to RStudio. Uh, before we get started, RStudio is an integrated development environment for R. All that is is a program that helps developers write scripts in R and perform data analyses in R more efficiently and more easily. RStudio is completely free and you can download it online. All you have to do is go to rstudio.com, you can go to the products tab, go to RStudio. Then once the page loads, you can scroll down to download RStudio for desktop and there'll be a list of installers. You'll pick the one that is appropriate for your machine and the installation process should be pretty straightforward. Uh, you should note that you need to have R installed beforehand. Uh, we have some videos to aid you with that and I'll put those on the screen right now. Um, once you have our studio installed, you can open it up and we can get started. All right, everyone, now that you've installed our studio, let's open it up and check it out. You'll notice that our studio is broken up into a number of different windows. I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what those windows are. On the left is the console. Um, this is essentially the terminal for R. So here you can type in commands and see their output. Uh, for example, I could do some basic arithmetic. I could submit a function call. I could also define a variable. Those are all things you can do in the command line. Uh, you'll learn a whole lot more uh, as you progress in, with your knowledge bar. Um, in the top right is the environment. Uh, the environment are all the objects currently available to you. Um, all the user-defined objects currently available to you. So I've only defined y as one variable. If I wanted to say define a custom function square that takes a value and squares it, I can do that and you'll notice that square appears up here in the environment. Um, along with user-defined functions and variables, you'll also see data sets and stuff like that up here that you import. Um, to the right of environment is history. Um, this is where R Studio records everything you submit in the command line or in the console. Um, this is useful in case you're, you know, uh, doing, it's kind of doing exploratory coding and you want to reference something you've done a while ago and maybe use it in a script you're making. Um, you can just go to history, you could select a bunch of different stuff, and then you could either type to console or to source, and it'll uh, import the, um, the R code to that respective area. Um, in the bottom right, you'll see the Files tab. This is everything available to you, to you in the current working directory. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll go over what a working directory is. Um, but for now, just know that in Files is everything that's available to you in the current working directory. Um, the Plots tab will show any plots you create in R. So say I wanted to make a histogram of 100 random normal values. I could type hist r norm, which is just the command for norm, random normal values, 100, and you'd see this histogram pop up in the plots tab. Uh, the packages tab lists a bunch of different packages that you could call into R. Like say, for example, I wanted to use the reshape2 package. I could click this, and you'll notice that in the console, uh, library reshape appeared. Um, Generally, I don't use the Packages tab. I just would type in the library ggplot2, for example, if I wanted the ggplot package, and then I would have ggplot. Um, the Help tab is very useful. Um, if you're ever wondering about certain, you just want an explanation of a certain you know, function that's in base R or any specific package, um, I could, you could type question mark in the console and then the function name. So say we had a question about the qplot function in ggplot. Do question mark qplot. And then you'll see a quick explanation of everything qplot, or yeah, qplot will be in this help tab. Um, lastly, one more thing we want to go over is uh, the script window. So if I go to new file, and do our script, or you can also use the hotkey, Control Shift N. So create an area where you can code your own uh, script or uh, your your own R code. So basically, this is just where you can say instead of submitting code line by line to the console, you can write a bunch of different lines of code. So I want to say A is five, B is ten, and C is A plus B. So that should be fifteen. 
um, I could highlight this code, click run, and you'll see that it was all passed down to the console beneath here. And now if I click C, 15 will pop out. Um, I could also save this code into a file. So if I want to do save um, stats250youtube.r, then I just save this file and I can reference it a bit later. Um, so this is the uh, kind of scripting window. I'm not sure what the actual name for it is, but this is where you'd have it. Um, other useful things, the working directory. So say you Im you downloaded some data and you need to access it. So for example, I've recently downloaded um, the IQ data set from the Stats250 website and it's in my downloads folder. What I need to do is change my working directory to the downloads folder so I could access this IQ data set. So I can go up to session, go to set working directory, choose directory, and then I could select my downloads folder. And then you'll see down here, it says set working directory, and then here's the path uh, to my downloads folder. Another way to do this is obviously just the set WD function with the uh, file path in print in quotes. Um, that'll work as well. Now I could load the IQ data, and you'll see that it appears here in our environment. Um, one other quick thing, say I loaded in this data and I want to look at it. Um, there's an easy way to do it with the head command. I can do head IQ, and then it'll appear in the console. But if I want to look at it more in like a spreadsheet fashion, I can do view with a capital V IQ, and it will appear up here. Um, this is really a, all I can offer for a decent introduction to R Studio. Um, if you want to learn more about R and consequently R Studio, I would suggest the Swirl package. So you can. To, to get there, you can install it in our studio. Just install dot, dot packages swirl, and it'll install quickly. Give it one moment, and then you can just type in library swirl, and then type in the swirl command, and this will prompt swirl to start. And this will it offers a bunch of different lessons, and it's really great for learning R. Uh, learning R in R. So you'll actually be in our studio, in the console, in the, um, the scripting window up here, learning about R. Um, so this is a very good resource. Um, that's, that's really all I have to offer. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comments section, and I'll try to monitor that in a somewhat timely manner. Um, yeah, good luck coding, and yeah, I wish you the best. Have a good one.